Hey there guys, we've got news for Global on June 6th, and once again returning is Star Ultras, so you can say hello yet again. I'm back, 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 back again everyone, hi. And people seem to enjoy when you show up to carry the news video Ultras, so this one is <laughs> Blitzball Legend Jacked. Um, how excited are we for this unit? I mean, Dark got a little buff with Zahn, so semi-excited, uh, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, um, so basically it seems like they're kind of power creeping Emeralda, which I guess is expected. Uh, yeah. You know, Emeralda was like the big Dark leader at 1100 uh, leader skill, but she also does gathering, and Jack is being buffed up to 1200 leader skill, and they're buffing his AoE Amplify, but they don't specify how it's being buffed. So real quick, we're going to just skip far ahead and we're going to go to the two global buffs. So here's the leader skill, 1200 to dark. Now this is only to dark. Um, this is not like dark plus one, which is like Emerald is dark and gathering. This is just dark, uh, but it's 1200 both in clash and out of clash. So that's yes. good, I guess, huh? Well, it is. Uh, I mean, uh, especially with, you know, Zon that's out there to buff the the, the Dark teams. Emerald that's apparently quite good too. Faye, so if you really cashed in uh, that, that Dark meta, really, really good. Really going to upgrade it. Mm -hmm. And in JP, this uh, skill right here was an AoE 100 Dark Amplify, but it's being upgraded on Global. So recently in JP, they have jumped up to AoE 150 amplifies for the entire party. Um, the new Terra can do that. So do you think, Ultras, that they're just going ahead and jumping to 150 AoE on Global? Is this going to be like, you know, 105 or what will this be? <laughs> yeah, there's no way they're going to go all the way to 150 for that. So I, I'm thinking 105, 110, or 101, just to say <laughs> it's a little higher than Zon. It's like, yeah, but, you know, they tried. Like, I'm, I'm not really hoping for anything really meta-breaking, but at least it's upgraded, so we'll take it. Mm-hmm. And then for the unit, uh, he is a normal Neovisions. He is not plus, he is premium, and his damage is sort of underwhelming. Um, that could change depending on what his global upgrade is, but uh, yeah. His banner has was... no perks. Yeah, and the the, um, the rate up units on it is actually kind of weird. It's like two of them are dark supports, two others are light. Like I don't really understand what's the, what's the theme there. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, they're kind of like showing their hand, and we're going to talk about more of this in, a, in the next slide. But uh, I think I yeah. see why that is being done that way. We'll talk about more about that in two minutes. Mm. Um, but other than that, though, I mean, like, he does mediocre damage, and he's a great leader skill. Is there anything else to Jack? Like, am I forgetting something? Mm. Not really. I guess uh, the perfect way to celebrate pride month is to start it with daddy for people with daddy issues like me <laughs> <laughs> there you there you go uh so to show his damage real quick it's like he's like i said it's pretty far down the list and this is with i updated my sheet for the new dark leader skill on global um yeah he's pretty he's pretty far down like you know imagine similar... being lower than faisalus <laughs> oh i know oh geez that's so true uh but yeah so sad and then comparison to Emeralda, she's up here at like 1.3, so Jack's 1.0. And then it's a jump to the top of the meta, we're at like 2.7 with Faye. So it's it's pretty far the, pretty far behind the top end. So he's like just a leader skill, and that's kind of it. Yeah, it's hard to justify using him at this at this point. I, I like is it really gonna buff Faye that much that you're gonna wanna bring him? Depends on the amplify, I guess. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, this uh this right here could really change the things. And I mm -hmm. wish that I wish they gave us some numbers in the news that we could, you know, see how good this is or how much of a marketing strategy it is that does nothing. Uh we'll have to see. Because yeah. it could be just like extends the turn by once and now it's a four turn one hundred. Which does well, literally nothing. That is still irrelevant. I didn't think about that. Oh yeah, that <laughs> that could actually be the thing. Or five turns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be pointless. But, Pretty uh, much. Yeah, so that's Jacked. 
Um, I will say his leader skill, not his leader skill, his vision card is decent. Uh, it's 650 for Guardian. It's 170. So it's a good, it's a good, le it's a good, uh, same leader skill. It's a good vision card. But who's in the Guardian category anyway? Um, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a decent chunk. Uh, by memory, I couldn't call off that many of them. Aya Brea, I know, is, but not that she yeah. really matters that much these days, as sad as that is to no, say. No yeah, I, I remember that the new Tifa is going to come out eventually. Mm -hmm. Is yes. Guardian. Yep, she is. Uh, and that's her overdrive skill as well, but that's all I remember somehow. Mm -hmm. There's not that many, is there? They're, they're, they don't even have a, a leader. Uh, Clive. Clive is the... No, he's, he's, he's elite soldiers, not oh, Guardians. Clive, yeah, elite soldiers. Uh -huh. Huh, you're right. That's kind of strange. You know, you know what? My new feature on my sheet, I can tell you right now. Guardians... Oh. Has Waka was 750, who seems to be skipped, and then mm -hmm. Albert was a collab unit that we're probably skipping. So you're right, there are no <laughs> guardians, <laughs> no guardian leaders. So it's basically just for him, and that's all. Mm hmm. Crazy. So are you going to pull for Jack? Is the real question. I pulled for Zon. I am now broke. So no. And um, as much as they're trying to push Fountains of Lapis every week now. Uh, I am no longer partaking in this, so I will be broke until they give, they give us events to farm a little bit. <laughs> Pretty much me too, yeah. I, I stopped buying the fountains months ago after things started going downhill. I'm like, not anymore. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's probably going to be a skip as well. I'd like to have him. I'll do my video summons, and if I get him, outstanding. Um, but am I going to use any actual resources on Jekt? I will not. If I get him from a video summon, uh, he'll get... 3,000 VIP coins. I've still got a stash of them remaining. Um, and again, it's starting to dwindle. And now that I'm no yeah. longer purchasing the crest and all, I'm noticing the VIP yeah. income is like non existent. Yeah, I kind of felt bad because usually I always buy the ticket, like uh, the rare tickets and the EX tickets every mm -hmm. month. And I did this month and I regretted it instantly because I'm like, oh, I don't even have enough anymore. Yeah, I'm going to have to start being like severely more you know, thrifty on how I spend those VIP coins, because once they go out, they're, like, just gone for me. Yeah, it's time to be stingy about it, too. Huh. Okay, I, yeah, so maybe they, maybe maybe it's just a big skip for me entirely. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It'll be really tempting if I do if I get him on a video summit, like, to at least get him to EX1, which I'll need yeah, at least EX1. 20 VIP coins. That's not too bad. Well, at triple price, it kind of is. <laughs> because it's, uh, wait, it's 300 for five shards? This is fifteen hundred? No, that's so easy. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Then again, I probably won't get him anyway. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I wish you no luck. Exactly. <laughs> uh, and then the event, the only event for the month. Well, Clash of Wills too, but uh, you know they skipped. Yeah, you know, I'm tired of saying this, but they they skipped a bunch of other extra stuff, and we're getting just the farming event, like the least mm -hmm. enjoyable of all the events. Is the only one we get. <laughs> The farming one, yeah. But um, if if you've noticed, they were giving us. Well, I'm I'm skipping ahead in the uh, in the news a bit, but they're giving us some things that we've been longing for. Finally, oh, what's that? Um, those ex abilities, like for the fifth slot, oh, the ND plus units. Yes, yes, that is down here. Let's let's scroll to that real quick before we talk about this. And yes, these are. Um, it's kind of like bittersweet because the. Re they're giving these away is because we have skipped all of the actual trials that give these in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but so lining, I guess we're finally getting them. But we finally, might be able to equip one on a, a unit or two. Oh, I know. It's it's just we're still missing a lot of them though. Like we're missing the the ones yeah. for magic and all that we're given, and these are all attack power. So this yeah. still not that good. Which is kind of weird when you think about it, because the Dark Toys one was for um, the event with Vaughn. And, oh, no, Ash. Yeah, Ash can't equip, can't equip them, so it makes sense. Never mind. <laughs> and when you, when you mentioned Ash, speaking of, so this is the <laughs> Final Fantasy X dungeon, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Ash is definitely my favorite Final Fantasy X character. With <laughs> I Ash, wanted to say the same thing. <laughs> Ash's clothes, Ash's boots, high waist. Isn't this from Ash as well? I don't know, maybe not. But these two definitely are. Like, yeah, I mean, the design for the sword also, because I, I know literally nothing of Final Fantasy XII 
unfortunately <laughs> or fortunately, whatever you decide. But um, yeah, it looks very FF12 to me. So mm -hmm. this is definitely my favorite FF10 unit as well. Ash is great in the in the game. Remember when she killed Seymour? Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so what I was saying, like the little hint about the light stuff, it seems like mm -hmm. they're going to be just like skipping lots more content. So they're just throwing stuff randomly at this point. Just like makes no sense, but we're going to just throw the twelve, the twelve gear onto the ten, the ten stage because we're not getting any more content. So there you yeah. go. Yeah, but it makes sense that Ash is being skipped because basically her entire kit has been slapped onto Celeste. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. She has the same field, and then uh, Yuna has been slapped on the rest of her, uh, on the rest of Celeste. So she's a big fusion of them both, except she doesn't have the leader skill. That's why we got Bart. Well, I say we, uh, I am excluding you, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> big sad, big sad. And then the only other thing is more of these community challenge rerun things. This time it is the previous five years of Fundamental Forces story. So for people that are into the global story, I guess this is kind of cool. If you never read it, now you can. Um, mm -hmm. If you've already done it, you know, no soup for you. So there you go. Yeah, but it's, at least it's nice that they're putting it back. Uh, what's not as nice is that they're removing it eventually. Um, yeah. why, don't, why not make it like permanent? Exactly. This literally goes into that key vortex for story events and mm -hmm. just stick it there, it there permanently and but yeah. but no I, I it makes no sense to me whatsoever because mm. it could go there with all the anniversary events from uh, from gp as well mm. and what's really weird is i don't understand this at all some of these are open until august some of these are open for six days why? i noticed and i'm like why some of them only one week and others until the end of time. Yeah, it, it, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Very it's because they don't like your Shikiri and movies, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Must be. It's crazy. Oh, wait, wait. Um, is it because Dragon is Wilk and Orphan is Rikt and they were both uh, premium units? Could be. But then again, Fundamental Forces, this was, uh, this was Louise and, and Ling, wasn't it? Oh, isn't that Elena? Oh, I don't know. It could have been. It's like the regular fundamental. Oh, course, yeah. The, I, thought, I, I think this was actually Louise, the researcher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Alina. Yeah, but Yoshikiri wasn't premium? I don't think so. Not mm -hmm. only wasn't he premium, he was barely ever used until I think they buffed him. Yeah. It? He's, when he's, he got the frozen LCD. Yeah, he got. He saw some use, but he, he, he was never, like, you know, top meta, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, But yeah, and anyway, if you've never, never run these... You know, you can see the story, or you can collect a little bit of lapis, which, you know, we don't get anymore. If you've already run them, you get nothing. Uh, and that's kind of it for global news. Like, I wish I had more to tell you. You know, we get two events a month, um, and this is going to be the only event we get. They, you know, all the trials, all the Neovisions Awakened units. So, like, people kept saying, um, you know, this... And I guess this is me being a little bit of a jerk to say this, but when I tell people, like, you're not getting stuff, and they're like, oh, no, it's just coming next week. It's, com it's coming during the, the event. And like, no, it's here, and you're not getting any of the crap that we're supposed to be getting. I told you this, and people on Reddit are like, you're just negative. I'm like, no, I'm just right. <laughs> yeah, and people are just in different stages of grief is all. Mm -hmm. They're still in, um, what is it? Denial. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're not getting any I of that stuff. Nothing there. <laughs> uh, that's kind of it. So I guess just for have something to mention to talk about, um, that's it for global news. So if all you care about is global news, thank you for listening. The end. Um, <laughs> but we can just mention like something for JP because something to talk about. Uh, we've got a new terror on JP, and yet again, it seems to be extreme power creep right because yep. uh, now we're doing aoe 150 amplifies now you can for give multiple your elements mm -hmm. yep for uh what is she again i think it's the the, the three uh, classes fire right? ice and holy oh not lightning that's weird 
Okay. Yeah, it's the light. So, sorry, I said holy because F I H. Oh, that's. Uh, I, I always call it that too. <laughs> that's so weird, though. Like, she doesn't do light element at all in the game, does she? Um, no, that's true. She doesn't. She doesn't learn. Well, sorry, I was about to call it pearl, but she doesn't learn holy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm an OG player. I played Final Fantasy three, not six. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, she didn't. She didn't learn holy. I think Celeste did. Mm -hmm. So she didn't really have any light damage at all. Yeah, she got uh, meltdown, or for going to the classic yes. version, Merton. Merton. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love mistranslations. The throwback. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's good. You know, I posted a video where I pulled for her. Didn't get her. Did I? Did I actually post that video? Oh god. You did. You I did. did. Okay. Yes, four minutes of four minutes of pain for you. Um, yeah. And I also tried to get her on my main account. I didn't. Um, thank God I have been gifted with an uh, alt account, and I was able to get her. Ooh, nice. um, and so I'm very happy that I got her. Um, but she's just the excellent, so I, she's not great just yet. Mm. And you know um, that Onion Knight that I did get during uh, during the Terra polls. He he's he has been like very useful for me lately. I've been doing a bunch of JP stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Because in the past, you know, I have skipped a lot of the, the stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but he's been carrying me through that stupid tower. He can OTK everything. I never farmed on JP. Um, uh -huh. All the, uh, the series boss battle, he did all the missions. I posted one clear, the crystal clear, on my channel. But I went back, yeah, I and saw. Onion was on every single clear of mine, and he carried ev every single category. He carried the wind, the ice, the crystals, the Final Fantasy III. Like, he did... All the carries and it, he's only ex zero and he's been useful that's what's surprising because if he was ex1 uh then you just have to get a friend and then you could like make a lazy clear where he's not doing the dps or anything but i mean if you're killing it fast enough because for the ff3 clear um well i didn't did you post a video of it the, th the three clear only? I did not. I'm really regretting that because a few people ask me in the, the jp chat like where's your video i want to copy it i'm like I didn't post one, and then I, I explained like the way I did it in in chat. Okay. And um, for example, you know, one player said, "Oh, that's you know, your explanation was great. I, I cleared it." Um, but I, sh I really should have posted a video. Maybe I'll go like rerun it and post a video just just to have it out there. If you feel like it, I'd be grateful because I do have an onion night, and I uh, not looking forward to gearing and trying to get everything done. Like my uh, cloud of darkness isn't, isn't even ex three yet. Um, I didn't even use I cloud. Am. Of darkness in the nope. clear. Okay, no, oh. no, no. So she was there, but literally did zero damage. She was a support unit. So the, the, the way I cleared it with Final Fantasy III is now this does require a friend EX1 Onion Knight because you need his shift form on one of them. Yeah. Um, so the friend, the EX1 Onion Knight, will use the shift form to apply all the mitigations. His shift form has all his tanking skills. So he yeah. applies because no magic tank on, on that, that, that series. So he applies the undead mitigation, the general mitigation, and the magical mitigation through the bar Winja buff. So okay. that you keep that all that up of the shifted Onion Knight. Both the Onion Knights maintain their, their unlocks and their mod boost. Um, someone has passive provoke evasion with as much spirit as you can. You just guard them every single turn for the single target stuff. Um the original Onion Neo is the Breaker. He's got the Breaker skills. He's just the Breaker. Um, yeah. I used Ingus just as a healer. He's got the heal in his kit. So he did heal, and I gave him Dispel and Dual Cast. He, he Dispelled and healed. And then yeah. I used Evoker as literally nothing but a Wind and Peril Field. And he just, like, sat there and did the Wind and Peril Field. Okay. And, and, we, and did we you use both Onion Knights to chain together? Just to chain, yeah. We chained the, okay. the wind skill every other turn. And every third okay. turn, the friend would have to maintain the... Um, the mitigation. The mitigation. Yeah. I, uh, and either tomorrow or the next day, I'll, I'll post a clear on... Um, I'll, I'll just re-clear it. i got to find an EX1 friend again. That's the real struggle. Oh, my God. So many of the <laughs> friends I find... I must have found 20 Onion Knights, and every single one of them is either pure naked. pure naked or they're geared like complete absurdity. They've got like one hand empty and like no materia slots, no vision card, but all the, the armor is equipped. And I was like, who mm -hmm. is gearing units like this? Like either, <laughs> I mean, okay, completely naked, I understand. You're putting it as a bonus unit, yep. no judgments. But when you gear it like just part way, way. that makes no sense. 
if you're gonna put but any gear on, do it right. Yeah. Well, if you need um, uh, properly geared Onion Knight, I can. Uh, we. I, I'm just gonna add you with my alt account. I have a. I have a Meta EX one. Oh, that is so perfect. That will make it very easy. Because then, then I actually have the killers on all too. It'll be real quick. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I have enough killers. It's an. No, I think I, I'm gonna have enough. He probably has 200 from the get go, right? I think so for undead. Yeah. So it should be easy enough because you know it's it's still an all account. I haven't farmed a lot of killers. I don't even have all my spurs. <laughs> I'm still farming for it. Mm hmm But I'll tell you what I am personally extremely excited about, which is coming in what five days, I think. Oh yes, yes, Kefka. is this the series boss battle for Final Fantasy VI is coming to JP Sir. Mm -hmm. and that is going to be this is. I think this is my number one favorite. It's really a tie between this one and the X Death fight, and that has nothing to do with the game itself. Like they're both, of course, also nostalgia games for me. But the boss design for the six and the five series boss battles was top tier. That was when they were really fresh and early, and they weren't scared to make them hard. And I yeah. loved that because people, you know, to be Honest, they complained a little bit that it was too hard, and they kind of went downhill starting with Final Fantasy 1, and from then on, they were just brain-dead SBBs. But this is one of the original OG hard fights, and it's coming back in the upgraded version, and I cannot wait to fight this in six days. I think on, I think on the 10th, right? Yeah, on the 10th. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. I, I hope you're going to make a video of it. Abs absolutely. <laughs> the issue is, I don't have Terra. To be my be my yeah. leader, because like I was really carried by Onion Knight for those Final Fantasy three series mm -hmm. boss battles that I've, I've done recently. Uh, maybe well, I have to, have to do more Terrafuls. <laughs> what's your FF six team? Bad, horrible. Like my best unit right. is Neo Visions Awakened Sabin or something. The, the Neo Plus Sabin, <laughs> yeah. and that's and like Plus, yeah. that's like the best, and he's so bad. Oof. So no, yeah. I, I have nothing. I'm gonna have to really do something. Oh my god. Well, it depends on how they, um, they gear, well, not the gear, sorry, how they upgrade it. Uh, but there, there might also be a banner for new units as well. It's going to be released along with them, so maybe you're going to lock out on one of those. There definitely will be. So, because we've already got Terra and we've already got Shadow, Shadow, who cares? Uh, by the way, yes, Shadow came out too. <laughs> Literally, no one cares that Shadow came out too. Um, but he also have a new page. Shadow. But... <laughs> Who do you think there's going to be? So, okay, the honest answer is probably going to be, like, Locke again. Who cares? Um, but who who would you want it to be if you had your pick of anyone in six? Who would you want the new unit to be? If I could pick anyone and that is anyone, I would go with Gogo -Go and Mog. Um, because, oh you know, Gogo -Go would be very cool. It's uh, It would be a different kind of unit. Maybe, like, that perfect chainer that can just mimic the, the other unit that went before crazy um but let's not go into that um so i'm gonna be with the realistic answer and i'm gonna say Cel uh, celeste and mog because you know maga had been an ice unit before and an ice support to go with the entirety of the other ice units with terra and uh shadow that's also ice category um with celeste who is undeniably gonna be ice as well so i think it would all fit well together mm-hmm so for me, my unrealistic, never going to happen choice would be: I want to see a unit of Emperor Gestal. The the, or, the or, he he's never had a unit like any of these games. I don't think any of the That's mobile games. And he was he record keeper. I don't think he had a unit in record keeper either. I could be wrong. But I don't think he did. Um, but in six, like Emperor Gestalt was like the ultimate mage, right? Like he he took all of the best espers for himself. He, they showed you in the little combats he did. He had all the magic up to the very top end. So like he should be a really powerful ma magical unit. And he was cool too. You know, the whole thing started because of him. I'd yes, love to have him as a unit because Kefka was working for him until he betrayed him on the floating continent. Spoiler mm -hmm. alert, you're going to see on well, you see it on the vision card from Terra anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, um, you know, that's not going to happen. So, no, so, so I don't think so, but it's it's a really cool choice. Yeah, I wouldn't have expected that from you. Mm -hmm. But the one the one I would like to see is actually Edgar cuz I really like Edgar as a character. Yeah. Um, and I feel like most of his units have been pretty unfortunate. Now, the 7-star the that got awakened to Neo 
Um, was good for a brief period for the Dragoons way back in the day. Yeah, with the jump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was good for a while, but we've never really had, like, a meta-level Edgar. They've always been pretty terrible. Like, the most recent one we had is absolute garbage. Never saw a second of use. It was forgettable right away. Mm-hmm. So I'd like to see a really powerful Edgar, and I'd be pretty happy about that. Mm-hmm. Hey, whoa, 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 wait. I just, I just thought of something. I, I literally answered if I could have any unit in the universe, and I said go go and mog, and I didn't oh. even mention Ultros. Yes, that would <laughs> let me let me run away real quick. Let Let's get Ultros and Typhon as a tag team unit. <laughs> yes, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I mean, I I could I I could accept having another realm as well. I like realm. Mm-hmm. She was she was good. She was good. Um, her yeah. skill wasn't that useful it was more like a fun thing than a, than a useful thing in the game but uh, well, what i like to do is to use control on units like you, you had an accessory you could give her uh that would give her control so she could control the enemy monsters that's, that's good of, um yeah it's definitely really good to learn the uh whether well, the, 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 the lore the, is for strago yes yeah. exactly um <laughs> but I feel, I feel like it just like wasn't that you have to understand i am very much a metagamer player so, okay. like, for me, the, the, the power comes before fun in my choices always. So that's why I'm just, like, not as, as into the sketch or the control mechanic because yeah. it's like, okay, I can spend, you know, a turn to control the monster, then I can wait for his ATB to fill, then I can have the monster do this interesting mm-hmm. but relatively low-powered attack, or I can use a fire one spell that does the damage cap because I spent the entire six... Or ten hours of disc one or, or part one, staying a low level, waiting for an Esper, so I could then level from six to fifty with the Esper plus two magic equipped, and I was overpowered. Yeah, that's how I play games. Okay. So, okay. so <laughs> I didn't use control that often. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. I'm I'm more of a completionist. Um, so I was like going around gathering gathering all the lores for well, sorry, blue magic for Strago. Uh, trying to get all the rages for Gao, never got all of them. And it's impossible. I don't know how people did, did that. Some of them were even bugged in the the SNES version anyway. Um, the dances for Mog, I cried the first time. I forgot to go and learn the water rondo because uh, you you couldn't go and get it back. Oh no! Uh, oh, those days. <laughs> we're we're actually we're actually talking about that in Discord like two days ago about um how you can miss that, but uh. It's actually not missable in the in the remake, the uh, Game Boy Advance version that added extra in-game content. You can get a water rondo in the in-game from that. So, pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, I saw your message. I was like, oh, I didn't even know. Because th- the worst thing is I played the remake, but until, like, the Soul Shrine, and then I stopped there. Hmm. I definitely understand. The Soul Shrine is very grindy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I never liked all those, like, split your party kind of thing. Because I'm usually just taking one party, leveling it up, and not go around with the others too much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, well, the, the, the the Phoenix Cave. Um, the yeah. Although, although if you go and get the the Mughal charm, it really yes, trivializes. That's it. what I did. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. There we go. All right, so little bit of an off track tangent, but you know, Sorry it's, about that. It's not like we had much to talk about with global. <laughs> but you know that's what I do. I sidetrack all the time, and I, I couldn't really resist talking about FF6 while there was an FF6 banner on JP, right? Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. <laughs> so on Thursday, I'll probably have no videos for you about this content because there is no content. But on the tenth, I will hopefully have an awesome series boss battle against Kefka video, if possible. We'll see what happens. Um, and then I will try to, this week, get that Final Fantasy three clear on Cloud of Darkness. I'll re- re-record it. It was, it was re- overall, honestly, not that hard with uh, the proper okay. setup. Okay. Well, that's good to know, because I, I, I'd love to be able to, uh, to go and do it. <laughs> will do. All right, thanks again for joining me. Always a pleasure, man. All right, later. Bye.